Alf. You here to see Angel? Yeah. We got some clothes for her. Maybe you can take them up. Listen, when I saw you just now, the first thing that went through my mind was to tell you to get the hell out of here. But if you and Angel want to see each other, then that's your business. She can make her own decisions. But on the other hand, she's lying up there in a bed and there's a chance she'll never walk again because someone ran into her. You, Elf. Never going to forgive you for that. Angel? Uh, hi. I um, bought you some flowers. I thought they might cheer you up. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And um, this is from Shane. Uh, I think it's some clothes. I, I met him in the car park. Uh, he didn't come up? No. Uh, he must have seen me and thought three's a crowd. Yeah, he must have. So, um, are they looking after you all right? Yeah, yeah, they're treating me fine. I've got a lovely doctor. I, I like him a lot. Oh, that's good. <sighs> uh, what about Tucker? Uh, you getting a feed? I, I remember the thing I hated most about hospital was the food. It uh, was tasteless and it, it looked pretty terrible. <laughs> but I mean, who has tea at five o'clock, eh, in the afternoon? And the sun hasn't even gone down. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> I didn't think you'd want to see me. Of course I wanted to see you, Alf. I can't tell you how sorry I am, love. If there was anything I could change... I, I, I tried to stop, I tried to swerve. It was just impossible. I, 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 I did everything Alf, I could not to hit Alf, you. Alf, it's OK. It's not OK, love. If you, don't, if you don't get back on those pins... It wasn't your fault. You can say that a thousand times. It's not going to make any difference, love. If I could swap places with you now, I'd do it in a second. Why do I get the feeling that no matter how many times I say I don't blame you, you're not going to believe me? Hmm? I want to believe you, love. Believe me, I do. Yeah. I was the one who wasn't watching where I was going. It wasn't you. You know, sometimes Take I think it'd be easier if you did blame me like Shane. At least that way I'd know where I stand. Now I'm sort of like I'm in some sort of no-man's land. I mean, part of me wants to believe that I'm not to blame, and... in here, where it really counts... I just wonder why this had to happen. None of it makes any sense. Oh, you're a legend. <laughs> I can't wait to get out of this gown. Yeah, well, you did always look cute in these. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you think I'll still look cute even if I'm in a wheelchair? Yes, I do. You mean it? Yes. And just as well, huh? <laughs> look, I know that sometimes I'm, I'm pretty clumsy, you know? I do and say things that, well, sometimes you might take the wrong way. Even if I don't mean to upset you. So if you ever get the feeling that I'm trying to make too many decisions or I'm trying to take over, just give us a nod and I'll back off a bit. Where did all this come from? Well, Don had a bit of a talk to me and I, I sort of agree with him. You know, sometimes I can get a little carried away. Well, look, there is something you can pull back on. Look, if this is about Alf, I'm not Stop interested. Stop blaming him for my accident. It wasn't his fault, and it's not fair saying it was, okay? Angel, I can't. For me? Please. You know, I heard a couple of nurses talking about a dance in Yabby Creek next month. You reckon you'll be up to it? It's a bit hard if I'm in a wheelchair. Well, who says you will be? Look, you've got to think positive. You'll get some feeling back soon. Well, I haven't so far. You keep talking like you're never going to walk well, again. Well, it could happen. 
Maybe we should talk about it. Why give ourselves a hassle? What's the point? Will you stop it? Well, what else are we going to do? Get totally depressed? Mark! Mm. Hello! Hi. How's the patient? Look, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Listen, I won't stay long. I'll just drop these flowers over. They're lovely, thanks. Mm. You're welcome to stay. Oh, no, you two probably want to be alone, don't you? No, it's, it's fine. Really. Yeah. Right. You're looking well. No, I keep telling her she'll be up and round in no time. <laughs> it's just as much chance I won't be. Doesn't matter what I say. She keeps thinking the worst. Maybe I've got a good reason. I mean, it's not like Donna's taken advantage of the situation or nothing. She could have a rock years ago. Yeah, but I think Rob still holds a candle for her, so he's better to deal with it up front. Mm. It doesn't help Donna much, but it does it. I mean, there's not exactly a big market for sheer accommodation in Summer Bay. Good day, darling. How's it going? OK. An angel? How's she doing? Yeah, yeah, hanging in there. Good. Well, um, I might leave you to it. See ya. Just, um, back at Sultana's say so. Listen, I know you're probably not too interested in anything I've got to say right now. Not if you're going to dish out the sort of stuff you've been dishing out lately, no. Yeah, I know. I've been a bit of a jerk. Well, you won't get any argument from me on that score. You think I've enjoyed the last couple of weeks? You, you don't think I haven't seen it over and over again? Yeah, so have I. Yeah, I reckon you would. Anyway, sorry. Listen, um, if it was me, I probably would have felt the same way as you did. You don't think I'd love to go back and change it if I could? Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, love, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but Elsa's word goes around here. Unless, of course, you just sorted things out with Alf while you're at the store. Yeah, we did. We had a talk. Good. It's about blasted time. Irene, we've just got one battle sorted out. Let's not start another. Eh? Just say any piece, that's all. Now, what can I get you? I'll have a cheeseburger and no J, thanks. I'll just have a milkshake. Hmm, no food, mate. You're a growing boy, you know. No, there's no time. I've got to go and see Angel. Try and sound enthusiastic about it, won't you? Well, I just feel a bit weird, you know? Like, I don't know what to say. I'm scared I'll be too up or too down. Do I talk about dancing or wheelchairs? Sounds to me you'd be better off just sticking to the weather. Hi, Mr Stewart. G'day, girls. Has anyone seen my towel? Um, I'll grab a fresh one. The other one's dirty. G'day, mate. G'day, g'day. You're out and about early. It's that sort of morning. Can't find one. Oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, could I have a quick word? Yeah, sure. Just thinking about Shane and Angel and the uh, financial drama this accident's caused, you know. I mean, he seems to be working out fairly well at the boat shed. I thought we might be able to help out, you know, offer him something a bit permanent, uh, maybe like an apprenticeship. At least that way he'd know there's some money coming in on a regular basis. You know, give him a bit of a future. Uh, have you talked to Shane about this? No, I haven't jumped the gun like I did with young Tug. Well, things are still a bit up and down, but don't worry, Alf, we'll find a way to make it work. You sure about that? Yep, I'll talk to him later. Good on you, I appreciate it. Rob? Hey, uh, how's Angel? Well, she's having another x-ray. Mm. Well, look, don't worry about hurrying back to work. I've got it covered, OK? Oh, OK, thanks. G'day, Shane. Hey, Michael. How's Angel going? Oh, well, she's hanging in there. Right. Listen, mate, how would you like to make that job of yours a bit more permanent, like an apprenticeship? Are you serious? Yeah, of course I'm serious. Oh, well, I thought you couldn't afford a full-time apprentice. Well, we think you're worth taking a punt on. We, meaning you and Al? It was Al's idea, but I'm more than happy to go along with it. So, is that a yes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good. You put in the work, in a few years, you'll be a fully qualified boat mechanic. You might even put me out of business. <laughs> Do you uh, get the results of the x-rays? <laughs> But I'm sure I would have heard if it was bad news. <laughs> yeah, they're not dragging things out, don't they? Yes. But there's not a lot they can do, though, really. Did you, um, hear that Shane tidied things up between us? I sure did. I'm really proud of him. Yeah, reckon it would have taken a lot of guts. Hey. Oh, good day. I was just seeing how Angel was. 
smuggle that past the nurses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a few bribes, no worries. You want some now? Ah, oh, after tea, maybe. Okay. I've got some good news. What? Michael has offered me an apprenticeship down at the boat ship. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, congratulations. What do you mean, congratulations? You seem to think it was your idea. Yeah, well, we, we sort of drummed it up between us. Mm. Well, I just want you to know I really appreciate it. Thanks. That's fantastic, Alf. Yeah, yeah, well, the main thing is you get better, eh? <laughs> I'll leave you to it. OK. That's fantastic. <laughs> Well, maybe it's a sign that things are turning around for us. I hope so. At least now we know that we're not going to be broke. Mm -hmm. Well, I better go and get some work done before Michael and Alf decide to change their minds about the apprenticeship. If I suddenly get my feeling back, I'll let you know. Okay. See ya.